guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Heather and I am an online reseller. What that means is that I go shopping and I find things to turn around and flip to make a profit online. So I am new to doing a YouTube channel. So if you could help me out and click on the like button, I would really appreciate it. Today we are going to be going over some of the things that I picked up when I was out shopping yesterday. So stay tuned. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and talk about what I got. Yesterday I went to Savers, which is a thrift store here in the suburbs of Chicago. I'm not really sure how far out those go. Uh, but thanks to coronavirus, I went with my daughter and we got to stand in line for 35 minutes in order to get into the store yesterday. And once we got into the store, then we got to go and go through this little circle inside the building before we finally got to get in. So we were pretty excited to get in eventually. So, um, we were going to head to the shoes section first, but my daughter really wanted to go to the toys, so we went to the toys first. And on the way, we stopped at the blanket section. And I historically sell baby stuff, so I always check for that kind of stuff. Because baby blankets do really well on eBay, even if they're used. So I found this cute Minky Dot blanket by Just Born. And there are a few of these on eBay right now, but they should it should still sell for about $20, $25. And I only got it for just a couple, so it'll be a good profit. And then I got another one of these plush Sherpa blankets. This one, I don't know if I'm holding it up the right direction. It's yep, stars, okay. I don't think it matters. It's got a cute little lamb on it. And this one is by Child of Mine by Carter's. Uh, and it will also sell for about $20, $25. Baby blankets are always something that's great to pick up and it doesn't even matter if they're used. Sometimes even if they have spots, if they're rare, people will still buy them because their kids get attached to it and then they lose them and then they're upset and parents are desperate to get something to replace them with. So then I also got this pink baby blanket. This one did have a couple of teeny spots. I'm gonna have to put it in the wash and hope that they come out. But there's none of these on eBay and Koala Baby is getting harder and harder to find because Toys R Us is gone, and that's where it was sold at. Um, so usually if there's none on eBay, you can get a much higher price for it. So I'm looking at probably $40 to $50 for this blanket. Even if I can't get that stain out, it'll still, it'll still turn that profit. I didn't take these out, but Cute little find, got these for my daughter, that's six. They don't look like they were hardly worn and they were only like $4, I think. So this was one of my better finds at the end. I go to this store because they have a ton of shoes and I normally find quite a few. Um, but the last couple of times that I've gone, I have not found very many. And I think that this might've been the only adult pair that I got this time. So I picked up these Keen women's boots. They do have a little bit of rub wear, rub wear right here, but I think that they'll still do really well. They look like comparables were going for about $65. So it should be a really good profit. The bottoms still look like, I mean, like they don't really hardly look like they were used. And those are a size seven and a half. So 
I just got done with an experiment flipping stuffed animals and so I've learned you can get a lot of money from some stuffed animals. Um, I always check theirs, but theirs are kind of high priced. Goodwills are a lot cheaper. Um, but it was half off day yesterday, so it wasn't so bad. Anyway, I picked up this adorable little Dumbo plush. He's got this cute little blanket. Looks like he's got Dumbo ears. Uh, yeah, my husband helps with the videos <laughs> and likes to comment too. So, so I didn't even think to look it up. It's Disney Parks. But when I got back home and checked it out, there's a lot on eBay. So he's probably only going to go for about $12 to $15. So then I've got another of these blankets. This one's gray with arrows by Cloud Island. It's also got the Sherpa backing on it. I think that there were a few more of these ones, and so this one probably will be more in the $15 to $20 range. So who makes Claude Island? I don't know who makes Claude Island. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> I'm sorry. With all the blankets you bought over the years, I thought I knew most of the brands. So after we got done going through the store and we went through the shoes, and I was disappointed there weren't very many shoes, and I was telling my daughter, I'm like, we've got to find some more stuff because we waited in line for such a long time that we had to have more than what we already had. So I went through the clothes just really quick and I found this cute Jimboree sweater. I think this one's from like 2013. It's the Ski, Ski School Collection. So if you don't know, if you're into Jimboree, there's a website called Jimboree Lines that you can go on. And it has all of the collections by year for uh, like since 2000, I think. And you can go in and find whichever item you're looking for and it will tell you which collection it's in. Um, so this one, there's none on eBay right now. It retailed for 37 and so I'm hoping to get 15 to 20 for it. And if I can't sell it, then I will keep it for uh, my baby who's turning one, and this is a size 2T. So, we originally walked past the kids' baby section, and I saw these overalls. I'm still not sure if they're red or orange. Uh, I saw these overalls sticking out, and I thought, oh, there's a good chance that those are probably Oshkosh. And so, I ignored them, and we kept going to the toys. And then when we came back the second time, I thought, oh, I'm going to go double check. And I was fortunate, they're Bowdoin, which is a pretty good brand and has a high retail. Um, and then I got home and I was looking at comparables and it was even better because it's got the tag on it. So they're brand new, which will mean more like a $30 profit. <clears throat> it says they retail for $48. And they're lined, which will be perfect for right now. Hopefully somebody will pick them up. They are size 18 to 24 months. I don't understand. Why, does, why is it lined being a good thing? For winter. It's warmer. Oh, so you don't mean the actual lines. I was confused. What do you no. mean? All right, so this is another Jimboree one. I looked it up. I can't find which collection it's in. There's a couple of lines that year that have similar colors and they didn't have this specific sweater showing. So this one is a size 2T and it will be for my baby. Doesn't he have enough clothes? No. Our kids never have enough clothes. And I'm really kidding. They have way too many clothes because I primarily buy baby clothes. And so every time there's a sale, we end up with more clothes. <laughs> um, like this cute little gap jacket, which will also be going not to my baby, but to my three-year-old. <laughs> so that was it. That was it for savers. 
So to make the trip a little bit better because it's a 20 minute drive out to this thrift store, um, I also went into Carter's, which is one of my big sourcing stores. Um, and they didn't have a ton of stuff that was great. Their clearance was 40% off, but most of their clothes were still pretty high priced. But I did luck out and I found some really good sandals. These, I don't even know what these are. Alligators, maybe? They have eyes. They do have eyes, but they also have clawed, clawed feet. What do you think? Is that monster? Doesn't look like an alligator to me. They're green. Dinosaur, maybe? Maybe. Anyway, I picked these up in several sizes. 11, 12... I think there were fours, but I didn't pick up the fours because the smaller sizes don't do as well. These retail for 38, so I'm hoping to get at least 20 for them. And they light up if you saw that, which I think a lot of people like. And what child would like dinosaur shoes that light up? I don't know. Most boys. I picked up these cute little navy ones for my daughter. They only ended up being $6 and I lucked out because the rest of the ones that were on the shelf were all priced at 17 and these ones were not and they still gave it to me for that cheaper price. So, you know, that was nice. Got these purple ones with Velcro. They're super shimmery. And these sandals, I mean, these were like, these were 81% off, these sandals were 82% off, plus an additional 40%. Oops. Pink shimmery ones. Shimmery must be in right now. And then they had just a few stuffed animals and security blankets, which is one of like my staples for my store. This cute dog one. And they got this cute plush tiger. And this super soft bunny security blanket. I've never seen a spotted bunny like that in real life. This cute little bear, this little bear is not even on eBay, so again, he'll fetch a higher price. And I've got one, two, three, four. Best thing about retail arbitrage is buying quantity because you can sell and sell and sell and sell and only have one listing. Anyway, so these will all go, well, the bears will probably go for more like 30 is my guess, but the other stuffed animals will be more in the $20 range. Anyway, that's what I picked up yesterday. So it turned out to be okay in the end. I did come back with at least 20 things probably. But yeah, so if you enjoy these kinds of videos and you enjoy reselling content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'm hoping this year I've got a goal to do at least two videos a week, maybe one. Our house is on the market and I have eight kids. So things are always crazy and things usually never go as planned, but I still, I still like to hope. <laughs> things never go as we planned. <laughs> anyway, I hope that things are going well for you. We'll see you next time. Bye.